Here we are on another job, another flooring job and uh, in this particular video I'm going to show you how to do flooring in uh, chevron style, chevron flooring which is a little bit different than um, herringbone style it's still got that v-shape uh, you know pattern but it's not a square edge and what, what it looks like is just the uh, exactly like V chevron on the motorway that you see so this is what uh, what it looks like and with this particular one uh, Cambridge chevron that's what I'm using that's what my client bought um, what it is is basically again with with like um, herringbone you've got two boards because there's two joints and you've got left left board and right board or A board and B board and I've opened the box it's day two and I'm gonna continue the room into the bay window so I prepared myself yesterday but uh, this is how you start the job basically you start the job <laughs> with coffee <laughs> but uh, yeah the, the way I work is I ask my client which way shall he prefers the flooring because mostly people just don't even ask and they just go bang and they go all the way but I drew him two pictures I may attach them to the video and I said uh, Tom which way shall we go this way lines or this way lines because mostly people would do this way like long, long ways but he preferred this way, so obviously I'm gonna do it this way. And I've already done like three quarters of the room. And this is the room number two that hopefully I'm gonna to start today. And there's fireplace that needs to be replaced and new concrete uh, poured in. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks so far. And you start the job basically with setting up which way you want to go and I personally uh, like to start uh, from trimming the frames and in this house I think there's no even architraves um, I think this is going to be my, my job as well put the architraves and skirting boards at, at the end but the way I start is set up the, the layout and then I trim the doors door frames so this is what I do. I take a little bit of underlay and piece of board and I'm gonna trim it, trim the frame. I'm gonna show you how to do it in a minute. Um, so when it's trimmed, you know, so when it's trimmed, you set your floor, you slide the floor underneath. Because look, this is how it needs to look. Let me show you. You see, that's the frame. That's the piece of architrave that's missing. But the floor is underneath. If you look carefully, it's underneath. And that's what we want. We don't want any silicon gaps there, silicon uh, covering the gaps. You really have to slide that board underneath. And, and that's how you start the job set up your layout have your coffee <laughs> and uh, and trim the frames and then when you um, when you trim the frame you can start differently you can start from the middle of the room and go left and right or you can start um, like I did yesterday I've done v-shaped pattern which is these two sorry these two you see these two and then I went another two, another two, another two, and that's another way. With this uh, engineered uh, herringbone, uh, sorry, not herringbone, chevron style flooring, you can, uh, you can go both ways. What I mean is you can spread left and right. Uh, the joints allow you to do it. So yeah, this is how you do it. It's a painstaking slow job and um, you have to glue the edges and the way I do it as well 
I uh, I don't really glue glue them down too often. It's more likely I'm I'm using underlay, and this is the underlay, underlay, and then your your boards, right? So that's that's how often I do it. But anyway, it's a good way. It depends what. Uh, what room it is, what's underneath and some people glue it it's a messy job but still good both ways are good but in this particular one they wanted a little bit of more insulation from the concrete floor underneath and that's why we used underlay some, some houses have a um, underfloor heating and that's where I think it's better to use uh, glue the boards down because there's a little bit less between the board and that heating heating mat or whatever heating system so it's more effective yeah the, the, the heating but this is how you start the job and uh, I'm gonna catch you up later with some more footage how it goes important thing to remember and bear in mind is that when you do this chevron flooring it is quite detailed job so you really have to take your time and uh, be patient and just really focus on every single board that you join together so when you do like particularly I do two at the time you have to really think of the joint and get it tight and uh, line it up so just try to make as neat as possible because it's, it's not easy and boards are also uh, not perfect um, sometimes there is a bit of a difference and the edges are curved or they're missing you know half a mil or the machine uh, didn't cut properly the, the end bit you know the groove so sometimes it gives you um, a bit of a headache joining this together and I'll give you an example of uh, something I found here so these are the challenges look for example this board here these two this and this the peak is perfect it's is you know it's on the same you know but on the bottom there it's not perfect this board is maybe one mil bigger you know that that edge is bigger than this edge maybe they're from different boxes different batches and this causes the rest a little bit you know the gap kind of grows you know so it's not really um sometimes it is a headache and as the room is bigger it is becoming more challenging so this is the one thing to be careful of to try to always do the joint that the peak or whatever the peak or you know that peak of the of the boards you know nicely tight and together you know they have to really lined up um, but this is the challenge you know um, overall as it goes together it blends in and it looks good but um, you have to really take your time put your glasses on and uh, focus on every single board you know and I don't use any hammer with these boards when I glue them down uh, I use a little bit of uh, you know tools to tighten it up even tap on with a foot but with these ones um, you can't really do it that much you just glue the edge to edge tangle groove and you slide them in and you tighten them with your hands but uh, just bear in mind just try to be take your time and focus on every single board because then you you make you make sure that all the lines are straight and the joints are good i'll catch you later bye